We have to deal with this measles situation because- Remember, remember, the 5th of November. Allow me first to apologize for this interruption. I do, like many of you, appreciate the comforts of everyday routine. The security of the familiar, the tranquility of repetition, I enjoy them as much as anyone. But in the spirit of commemoration, I thought we could mark this November the 5th, a day that is sadly no longer remembered, by taking some time out of our daily lives to sit down and have a little chat. There are of course those who do not want us to speak. Why? Because while medication may be used in lieu of conversation, words will always retain their power. Words offer the means to meaning and truth. And the truth is, there's something terribly wrong with this country, isn't there? Cruelty and injustice, intolerance and oppression. And where once you had the freedom to object, to think and speak as you saw fit, you now have censors and systems of oppression, coercing your conformity and soliciting your submission. I know why you did it. I know you were afraid. Who wouldn't be? War, terror, disease? There were a myriad of problems which conspired to corrupt your reason and rob you of your common sense. Fear got the best of you, and in your panic you turned to the media, medical professionals, your very own government. They promised you order, they promised you peace, and all they demanded in return was your silent, obedient consent. I started CalGem to remind this country of what it has forgotten. Our hope is to remind the world that fairness, justice, and freedom are more than words. They are perspectives. So if you've seen nothing, if wrongdoing remains unknown to you, then I would suggest you allow the 5th of November to pass unmarked. But if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and if you seek as I seek, then I ask you to stand beside me March 18th through 20th, 2016, as we give them a Cal gem that shall never, ever be forgotten.